Yes, sir. Um, you know, stopping, it's, uh, it's of course the most important thing that, that uh, you know, we could ask for a, from a horse and, you know, anymore if a horse doesn't have to stop or can't stop very well, you know, it's something that you're going to have to con consistently be working on as well as, you know, it's, it's not something that you can hide, you know, and, you know, every horse is their own individual and can offer it to you in different ways and uh, just a couple things that I like to do to either help one stop a little bit better or just to consistently build on it. Um, you know, in the beginning, you know, when we first start these colts and, you know, it's a little bit of a little bit of a mess as far as teaching them to go forward and when their mind and their thoughts are centered in on it, you know, um, basically we'll just be walking or trotting around kind of in a circle like this, letting them just kind of flow off wherever they want and more than anything, Duncan, just teaching them how to accept our hands and come back off of our hands, you know, and shuffle them feet back behind them a little bit and go both ways, you know, when there's a little bit of stiffness or they want to move really quick and just jump away from it, I'm just going to stay there and you see me just kind of stepping back out of her way, okay, and just keep kind of going back to that same spot and pulling her around right there. She's a little stiff on that side now. I'm going to step back off over here and pull her around. And all this is doing is just teaching them to kind of find you.